Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm outside in my garden and I just wanted to do a another channeled message. Um, I wanted to sit in my garden and do this. Um, I think ever since the Aquarius full moon, which as I'm recording this was yesterday, I feel like timelines are definitely shifting. I think that the quantum leap that we've been trying to get to is finally upon us. And I'm getting this feeling, this huge like relief of detachment and let me move back here. <laughs> detachment and letting go letting go of outcomes and surrendering to things being not as you expected but better than you could have ever imagined i always feel like the universe has this funny way of like showing us like you were worried all along and you did even better than you expected like you you had no reason to worry everything worked itself out you're on the right path and I feel like that's the message that's coming across right now is like you can't really see the in-between you can't really see your journey as it's happening but once you get to the end you realize like you had nothing to worry about all along right how many times in our lives have we had this moment um sometimes it's like an aha moment where you're like oh my god <laughs> like I was I was in this one place I was so worried and now I'm at the finish line and it's like why was I even worried there was no reason to be worried so I feel like that's where we are as a collective it's like I think we're in the in-between we're like we can't see what the outcome is gonna be but we just have to trust 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 that it's going to be better than we could have ever imagined and we have to understand that like it worked for us before so why can't it work for us again the sun just popped out and said hello soaking up these rays and it feels like fall even though it's still fucking august <sighs> yeah at the oak guardian and this card says threshold answers open mind it's quite literally like the passageway we're in the middle of walking through the passageway. We're in the middle of this, like, this huge transition, and we just, we want answers. We're like, universe, why? Like, give me the answer. Like, what is happening? What's going to happen? What's the outcome going to be? I need to know. But we don't need to know, right? Like, we just have to trust. We have to believe that it's going to work out to our highest timeline, to our highest vibration, to our, the best possible way that it could work out. We're crossing the thresholds we're transitioning there's a major transition right now you can't see it right now you can't see the in-between but the main thing is that you remain present through the journey presence is so important right now witness your journey don't black out and then get to the finish line and be like what was the lessons and all that learn them now move through it now because there's so many gifts through the present moment so many insights that could be overlooked if you just neglect the fact that like you're here you're in the journey you're going through it it's so important so keep an open mind as you pass through this threshold remain open to all possibilities remain flexible flexibility is key right now because you don't want to remain so rigid that you're blocking like even more blessings than you didn't even think possible because you're so focused on this one point of view or this one way of like the way things should be but it could be better it can be even better than you ever imagined so we got the tree spirit strength and growth you're growing and the most important thing about trees right is the root system you can't see that root system the root system is below the ground but it is so connected to everything but it remains unseen so trust in the unseen trust what's not visible to you yet stay dedicated to your growth and your strength like when talking about going through the journey right 
it's really important to address limiting beliefs as they're happening. Like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm never going to make it. I'm never going to get there. This is never going to happen for me. Yes, it, yes, it will. I have this feeling that a lot of people think that growth has to be stagnant, but it's not. Like, when you witness, like, a tomato plant <laughs> growing or anything, really, you start and you start from a seed. It's, it's kind of slow. It's kind of gradual. You might have growth spurts. Or you might have a period of stagnation and all is important and all is valid and, and important, right? I think I already said that, but... <laughs> so, it's important when you're going through your journey that you're taking a pause to learn the lessons, to adjust limiting beliefs as they come up and to really transform your life just by, you know, just by holding on to, like these beliefs that come up at every moment and and releasing them and surrendering them I'm also getting like don't feel like stability is boring it's not like it doesn't have to be boring stability doesn't have to be boring I think once we're used to like chaos and shit always going down and like falling apart oh it's getting windy sorry guys I got blown away <laughs> but um the final thought that I wanted to say about the the channeled message was sometimes if we're used to chaos and shit always falling apart then stability can seem extra boring to us like we're just so used to like the chronic like shit storm that sometimes when we're in our healing era or a stability era then it's like we're like now what like I'm addicted to the chaos but we just have to get used to this new normal and we have to be we have to understand that we can find fun and pleasure and excitement in a more stable lifestyle and a more like healing and like beneficial lifestyle than the chaos and stuff like that. But yeah, I think right now is all about letting go and finding our true selves underneath all of the mass and understanding that our life has this whole other divine purpose than what we may want or expect or think. So if you enjoyed this channeled message, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment if it resonated. And I plan on doing more channeled messages, so stay tuned for that.